Hey what's up guys Druel here back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a photo effect just by using thing we have inside Photoshop the default things without downloading any other extra stuff so this is going to be a lot of fun let's get started so as you guys can see my image is already open inside Photoshop and if you want you can go to file and open any image you want now this is from deviantart.com so if you want to download the same image, the download link is in description, so feel free to use it. Now I'm going to double click on this layer and unlock it. The first and most important thing is that we have to cut her from the background. And since it's a blue in front of a gray, I think quick selection would do pretty good job. So make a selection of her, something like that. And a little bit of there. These things can be a bit of tricky if you are a beginner and if you are a pro then you can skip a couple of like a little time. You can click that annotation so you don't have to watch the painful process of masking. So that would be really helpful and if you are a beginner watch this it will really really help you uh, how to do selection and stuff like that. So have patience and try using different different tools uh, it helps a lot and I'm using alt key to remove the selection that I don't need so if I want to remove this portion I'm just gonna alt click so it will just go away like that and then I'm gonna remove this one too like that and now we are going to combine another selection tool so go here and select a magnetic lasso tool from here and then I'm gonna I have selected this minus one the third one so whenever I will make a selection something like this as you can see here you just have to click to make the points and then finish it so it will remove selection from there so you can like select some complex stuff like this and it's really handy just try it out uh, you know what try every selection tool and find the one that works best for you and there goes the award for worst selection in Photoshop actually you know what I'm just gonna skip this and now you guys know like how you can do this and this thing is annoying as hell and if you are stuck like like how to get rid of this points use your backspace key or if you're on Mac use your delete key so it will remove it and this way you can okay that was my windows uh, get used to it so you can just use your delete key to re get rid of this ridiculous uh, selection. So sometimes it's fine, but sometimes it's just a real pain in the ass. So I'm really sorry for, uh, we can do nothing about it. So yeah, keep using backspace and it would be amazing. And this looks fine. You know what, oh, god damn it. Uh, so this can also happen as you can see, like if you have your selection and if you have just only single layer, pressing the backspace key will delete it or the delete key will delete it so it's obvious so be careful uh, are kind of this times and after that you can either uh, inverse the selection like this press ctrl shift i and delete it uh, that works or uh, you can just uh, keep the regular selection and apply a layer mask so this way you can also get uh, rid of the selection uh, i mean the background <laughs> i'm sorry for that and the hair part so first of all i'm gonna put uh, create a new layer and put it under my original layer fill in the white color so where is paint bucket and here you can fill in the white color now as you can see this layer is under this layer if i put it on top you won't be able to see anything so take care of that and now her hair looks really awesome but we need to apply some shampoo or something like that so select your mask here right click and select uh, refine mask where is it and this option is only and only in uh, after Photoshop CS5 so I'm sorry if you have like younger version so deal with it and then do nothing actually and just paint around her hair like that and it will do the job really Photoshop have done this thing like this is amazing feature I love it and you can have this little bit of troubles uh, sometimes if the image is really fuzzy or it has weird colors. Uh, there are plenty of ways to deal with it but if I go deep into that it would be just half hour tutorial about just selection. So uh, it, it, won't, it, it doesn't look that bad so hit OK. 
and if you want to get rid of these things uh, you know what just go and select a regular brush and I will show you how to do this crazy how to get this crazy brush inside Photoshop so first of all uh, I'm just gonna paint with uh, right click and make it hard like 50% and make sure you have selected mask and paint with black color so you can get rid of this fuzzy thingy so it doesn't look that terrible and that looks actually pretty good now right click and make your brush 0% uh, hard so you have really soft edges and then uh, paint like this and you can keep it as much as you want so this looks fine and it's enough kind of but you can also do but you can do also one thing like make your brush uh, slightly smaller then click here uh, hold your shift key and click here and then remove this unnecessary area cool now uh, you can see if you have this kind of crazy thing so just make your brush smaller and do it uh, oops so this is the cool thing about Photoshop just play around don't expect to learn everything from tutorial I mean that bits the point of the time tutorial but what I'm saying is just uh, try figuring out figuring or uh, try figuring out new things so that would uh, really help um, by yourself and a little bit of selection problem here and there but you know that how you can remove that right using lasso tool so I'm not gonna go into that now we need to create a background for this image so for that as you can see we already have a white layer so double click on that and go to pattern overlay and in the pattern overlay you have this kind of crazy patterns and if you don't let's let me reset this thing so reset patterns uh, okay and then you go here and you select artistic surface and select a pen so you don't lose your old ones and then select any pattern you like so let's try different one this time so we can have some cool output so this one looks nice and this one is also very good so I'm gonna go with a bit darker one and let's scale it up okay that doesn't look very good uh, let's try a different one this uh, tutorial is probably gonna long because I am in full mood of going in details and not cutting out things so that would be really awesome and that actually looks pretty good it gives this texture feeling and there are plenty of default Photoshop patterns just use them they are really amazing and hit ok so this way we just created a background out of nothing and the base is ready now we need to apply some crazy stuff so now go to your make sure you have selected a brush option and then go here and let me reset this thing so where is reset here and hit ok so this is what your brush panel will normally look so go here and select calligraphic br uh, sorry dp brushes and hit append don't hit ok otherwise it will replace the brushes we want to keep the old ones so hit append and it will give you some really really cool brushes so first of all let's start with this uh, something looks like fusion or I don't know like I'm in fusion of uh, what do you call it man I don't know create a blank layer and fusion of lightning <laughs> I get the word so first of all you, know, you also have to create a blank layer between these two so if you paint anything here uh, why I can't see anything so okay everything is normal let's make it black now yes now we can see it so now when you paint anything it will be under the model layer and if I put it on top it will be on top of it which doesn't look very good so make sure it's down and then let's press ctrl Z uh, after that click on this little icon here and there you have really awesome crazy options so uh, first of all I'm gonna go to scattering and I'm gonna scatter it a bit uh, you know what make the I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna scatter it that much uh, let's make it zero or maybe a little bit that seems fine and now into the shape dynamics so let's make the sh uh, size jitter 100% so you have smaller and bigger like uh, shapes and then you can select the minimum diameter uh, these are really simple option you can just figure it out by yourself uh, just by playing it uh, playing with it a little bit so I'm gonna make angle jitter 100% and then roundness jitter a little bit like 50% seems fine and everything is default <clears throat> now I'm also gonna go to color dynamics and keep it on and uh, the more the hue jitter 
the more weird type of colors you will get so I'm gonna keep it to like two three percent seems fine uh, then let's go and go to shape dynamics and also take care of one thing in scattering if you scatter it way too much it would just go all over the places we do not want that we need to keep it in a single place so that looks fine and now let's start painting as you can see now as I paint it creates this really cool design uh, like around her and uh, that seems fine and if you need to remove like some of the stuff doesn't look around her head so select a eraser tool uh, make it big you can use a big bracket key to remove like make it big and then I'm just gonna remove it right click and also make hardness is 100% so that will also help and that looks fine but uh, we need to fix this thing so let's take a brush and paint a little bit here see this way it looks really dope and also a bit here okay now you are just becoming a headache and uh, yeah that looks perfect and uh, we are good to go now create another layer and this time you know what uh, select another brush and this time this 504 I don't know what to call this brush but it looks pretty cool and also I'm gonna go with a bluish color so I'm just gonna copy it from her dress and that doesn't look good so pick up any kind of blue color it doesn't matter and I'm gonna make few like here and then a bit here something like that then one here and make sure this thing can screw up many like you can like you can get in a really big trouble like make sure that these two things are on different layer or never forget to create a new blank layer before painting with a different brush keep that in mind so uh, I'm just gonna do some painting here and then a bit here then let's make it quite bigger and here 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 and smaller and here so this way you can create some really cool artistic stuff and let's make it a bit smaller because that seems really overpowered and that's okay and you can just make some brush smaller like this some really big like this and the possible outcome is like countless now we need to use some different brushes so let's go back click on this little icon and select special effect brushes you never knew Photoshop had special effect brushes, did you? <laughs> if you did, good on you. <laughs> okay, so here we have this uh, flower here. So now again, create a new blank layer and put this right on the top of like the background and below everything else. And now let's go to the brushy thingy. And as you can see, it already has some really cool options selected. So we are just going to tweak it a little bit. Shape dynamics, uh, let's make the minimum diameter like, uh, like 20, 15%. That seems fine angle jitter is fine let's go to scattering and let's scatter the hell out of it yeah that that seems really fine and reduce the count uh, like to two and also like make the count jitter maybe 80 90 percent just play with it even i don't know what i did to get that output and now uh, paint with it and see now we need to scatter it even more so let's scatter it a little bit and remove this by pressing Ctrl Z. And I, I also want the default black and white colors. So let's paint again and we need to scatter it even more. So this way we can do it. Uh, keep scattering and keep reducing the count. So I think one should be fine. And let's also make this bigger. So this is the cool thing you can use while working with this panel. Like uh, make a stroke. Uh, do change in this panel again make a stroke and do some changes in this panel so this way you can keep up the track now also make the size a bit bigger and there you go that is awesome and exactly what I wanted and now if it looks really distracting you can dis uh, like uh, decrease the opacity so it can blend real smooth with the background and that actually does look very good and since it's on a separate layer you can manage it anytime you want now select your layer 0 and press ctrl J and it will make a duplicate of, uh, duplicate of it <laughs> right click and select apply layer mask 
and it will get rid of the mask since we are going to apply filters on it we cannot have mask now make sure you have selected this layer and go to filter and go to distort and go to ripple and apply a lot of ripple like 100% would be fine and hit ok so that looks good and now put it under your layer 0 so it will give it this really cool dotted like layer effect and it looks really awesome and now you can go to filter and just repeat it like that and it gives even amazing looks so that is fine and looks oops uh, looks good and after that duplicate this same layer 0 and uh, now go to filter blur and this time go to motion blur and apply blur now uh, let me zoom out a bit if I can okay and now make sure that it is in the direction of model doesn't have to accurate have to be accurate just a little bit okay and that's fine and if I turn it on and off you can see there is a difference but not very good so let's turn it on off here is that motion blur layer and then let's go to your smudge tool uh, here and then in the smudge tool select any of this crazy like this one is fine this one is fine so you know what I'm gonna go with this one and then select this one and start painting over it and uh, make sure the strength is like really good like 60 70 percent so you don't have to like do it again and again and that seems fine and if you want even better output turn this layer on and make sure you have selected this motion blur layer do not ruin this original image by any mistake so keep that in mind so I'm gonna like start painting like this and if you think it is going really like uh, far just reduce the strength and it will do the job properly so let's do it and I'm just gonna fast forward this thing because it's gonna be boring and that looks really fine if I turn it on and off you can see that gives really cool effect now it's time to add some butterflies so create a new blank layer and select your brush tool and one pro tip make sure that whenever you try to do this crazy brush thingy you make sure that you do not have selected your uh, like eraser otherwise you will go in change everything and then you will realize that all the changes were made into damn eraser so you will have to do everything for brush again so take care of that so i'm gonna select my brush tool actually and in the brush uh, let's go here and select a butterfly and in the butterfly uh, let's in increase the spacing and in the scattering uh, actually i don't want any kind of scattering so that seems fine again go to brush tip shape and increase the spacing and that seems actually really fine and let's make a shape okay that is actually looking good but it's really small so let's make the uh, like butterflies big and then let's make uh, yeah that seems fine you know what make it even bigger and now even bigger and uh, yep now it's perfect but let's just decrease the spacing a little bit and not that big and let's paint and we are good to go you know what let's try it again <laughs> and increase the spacing a little bit it's it's impossible to satisfy yourself while working on ps project so i hope you guys understand and then double click on your layer file and go to where is it uh, glow 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 outer glow here is outer glow and in the outer glow spread it a little bit you can't see anything i know but instead of this uh, yellow color which is i don't know i don't like that color uh, select some pinkish or violet color which works really good uh, with m like model of the image oh my god this is really difficult so uh, increase it a bit and then decrease the opacity to match it and you, you can spread it lesser you can also like change the color to like make it less denser or something like that and that seems fine hit ok I'm gonna decrease the size even a bit more and spread so spread is too fine and then increase the size uh, yeah that seems really beautiful and then apply a layer mask and then select any regular round brush and remove it uh, first of all from here uh, like this 
and you know what right click and make it harder so that uh, saves a lot of time and like this then uh, for, don't erase this line and then erase this line like this and that seems great and you can also paint white if you like by mistake you remove unnecessary so that seems great and you have a really cool looking butterfly and the mine is really smaller you can like uh, make really like long ones those looks really pretty but i'm not doing that so uh, like basic concept is ready now we have to add some lighting and color effects so for that create a new layer and go to your like make sure you have selected regular soft round brush with zero percent hardness and in the colors uh, select any kind of like cyanish color because blue and red always work no matter what so first of all click here and make a dot on her hand and change the blending mode to screen so nah, that doesn't look very good so let's go back and select some like uh, yeah that color and then paint and change to the screen yep much much better and uh, now instead of blue one I'm gonna go with a red one and then click here so it will give it that really cool red light and you can just click again and again to give that uh, lighting feeling and you can also just duplicate to just like light the crap out of it and uh, decrease the like opacity to blend it better and uh, the better time you spend like if this red doesn't work try different red and something like that and you will have the best output in the world now i'm going to show you how to put a mask on her face so create a new layer and select black and white or hue saturation will also work and decrease the saturation to zero percent now select your mask and press ctrl i so everything is basically hidden inside that mask now we only need this uh, like her eyes to be black and white like this so i'm gonna paint white color in that so you have only that part black and white see uh, in the mask see so that gives like that suddenly give really cool look now create another layer and select brightness contrast increase brightness a touch and also maybe touch contrast to give it like that feeling now create another layer and this time select curves in the curves go to blues and that standard my favorite that I do every time add a bunch of blues and add a bunch of yellows okay not that not that much yellows and you will be good to go and that seems kind of fine and you know what let's go back and make it less denser not very heavy on colors so yeah that seems fine and you can just try different different output just go crazy and do anything really you would learn things way faster that way and then create another layer and this time let's select again another curves now all of this process uh, because of this process the image looks a bit dull so just brighten it up not that much <laughs> keep it in control so that seems fine now create another layer and then let's go to vibrance and add a bunch of vibrance to give it that contrasty like bit of color popping and stuff like that now go back to curves and adjust it again and again so this is the part where you adjust and this is actually really important uh, now you go back and see which works even better once your final output is ready and try turning on and off different colors and things like that like try turning on and off this mask if that works or not works and stuff like this and improvise it again and again spend some time and then you will have your one of the best output without using anything outside Photoshop I hope you guys uh, liked it and this way you can create a really cool things just by using Photoshop itself no crazy brushes downloading or any stuff like that and if you learn something you can hit that like button that would be awesome you can subscribe to my channel so you can get update every time i upload a new video 
and also check out this other cool tutorials by tutorials junction they all include really cool brush uses and till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop